Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho into your hands along with its king and its fighting men. March around the city once with all the armed men. Do this for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the Ark of the Covenant. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with priests blowing trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpets, have the whole army give a loud shout. Then the wall of the city will collapse and the army will go up, everyone straight in. So Joshua called the priests and said to them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpets in front of it. And he ordered the army, Advance, march round the city with an armed guard going in front of the Ark of the Lord. When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets, and the Ark of the Lord's Covenant followed them. The armed guard marched ahead of the priests who blew the trumpets, and the rear guard followed the Ark. All this time the trumpets were sounding. But Joshua had commanded the army, Do not give a war cry, do not raise your voices, do not say a word until the day I tell you to shout. Then shout! So he had the Ark of the Lord carried down the city, circling it once. Then the army returned to the camp and spent the night there. Joshua got up early the next morning and the priests took the Ark of the Lord. The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward, marching before the Ark of the Lord and blowing the trumpets. The armed men went ahead of them and the rear guard followed the Ark of the Lord while the trumpets kept sounding. So on the second day they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. On the seventh day they got up at daybreak and marched around the city seven times in the same manner, except on that day they circled the city seven times. The seventh time when the priest sounded a trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab and all who are in her house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. All the silver and gold and the bronze and iron are to sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. When the trumpet sounded, the army shouted, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed, so everyone charged straight in and took the city. They devoted the city to the Lord. Joshua said to the two men who had spied out the land, Go into Rahab's house and bring her out and all who belong to her, in accordance with your promise to her. So the young men who had done the spying went in and brought out Rahab, her father and mother, her sisters and brothers and all who belonged to her. They brought out her entire family and put them in a place outside the camp of Israel. They burned the whole city and everything in it, but they put the silver and gold and bronze and the iron into the treasury of the Lord's house. Joshua spared Rahab with her family and all who belonged to her, because she hid the men Joshua had sent as spies to Jericho, and she lives among the Israelites today. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame spread throughout the land.